Hello everyone. The aim for today's video is to understand how to make reporting more efficient in Bahamni. And for the same, we'll be taking the help of Metabase and Bahamni Mart. So let me quickly walk you down the agenda for today's video. So we would be starting off with a quick overview of Metabase, wherein we'll be seeing how we can access Metabase and what all features comes pre-configured with it. Followed by a quick introduction segment wherein we'll be understanding what Metabase essentially is and the benefit it has to offer and understand more about Bahamni Mart and how it is useful for us. Followed by a quick demo wherein we'll be using an industry relevant use case to understand more about how Metabase uses its visualization aspect to enhance reporting in Bahamni and what all additional features it has. And last but not the least, we'll be closing with uh, implementation or technical details wherein we'll be understanding more onto the implementation side. So without further ado, I would like to start with the overview section for which we'll be starting from the Bamni DevLite homepage. So currently I'm on the Bamni DevLite homepage and as you can see, I have an icon named Analytics present, which basically leads us to the Metabase UI. So if I click on this, I would be landing onto the Metabase UI. So if you see, as of now, I have logged in through my admin credentials. So it's selling me greetings admin. And when you will be clicking on this segment, you will be prompted to enter your credentials. And by logging in, you could access Metabase. So if I go to the browse data section, as of now, I can find two DBs, which we have configured for our uh, Bahamni Metabase users, which is the Mart DB and the OpenMRS DB. We also have a sample collection present for our users having two pre offender reports so that the users get a basic look and feel of how reporting looks in Metabase. You will get a bit more insight about this wherein we'll be having our demo. As of now, let's dig deep to understand more into what Metabase and Bahamni Mart actually is in our introduction segment. For the same, I would be taking the help of the Bahamni Wiki page wherein we have data around Metabase and Bahamni Mart. So let's start with that. We would just be typing active initiatives and you would get this page, which is a conference page. And as soon as we open this, we have to just come down and click on this BAMNI Metabase integration. So as a part of this, we can understand what is Metabase, right? So firstly, Metabase is an open source business intelligence tool. Uh, using Metabase, you can demonstrate your data in a format like a bar graph or a pie chart or any format that makes more sense to you. So suppose you have the situation where you want to kind of uh, demonstrate only female patients within a particular age group suffering for, from suppose diabetes. So you can do that very easily with the help of Metabase. And uh, coming to the benefits of Metabase, uh, you really don't have to bother about writing the SQL queries. You can just do the same from the Metabase UI. It, it's a very user-friendly uh, solution. You will have options to choose the database you want to interact to and very easily query the tables and uh, kind of create a representation that would deem fit to your uh, particular requirement. Now that we have understood why, what is Metabase and why do we know more, want to know more about it, let's understand what is Bhavni Mart. So Bhavni Mart is a spring batch application responsible from transferring data uh, from a transactional DB to an analytics DB, which is a Mart DB. And this uh, particular transfer is based upon a scheduled cron, cron job. So the advantage of using Bhavni Mart is that when you have a transactional DB, like in our case, we have OpenMRS DB, which is being queried by a lot of uh, systems and the data is not in a very flattened or a very query friendly format. So what that happens in this particular scenario is that for if you have a very complex query, like I've already mentioned, we want to make sure that there's a, the patient is a female, there is a particular age group, and then we want to ensure that the particular patient is suffering from this disease. In that case, we have to go through querying a lot of tables. But in case of Bahamni Mart, because it's a flattened DB, it can be done very simply. And also by doing this, we can reduce the load on our open MRS DB, which is a transactional DB in our case. So it is very helpful where we kind of want to reduce the load on the transactional DB and to make generating report way friendlier. And if you want to understand more around Bamli Mart, we have this repo. You can understand the code base there. And also we have, uh, if you come to the end of this page, there is this link to understand about the Bamni Mart architecture. So if you want to understand how Bamni Mart exactly flattens the DB or what all processes goes in, this would be really helpful for you. 
So you should, yeah. So if we come a bit down, we would have the format. So basically the clinician would be uploading the data. It would go into the OpenMRS DB and from there it would go into the MART DB where it will be flattened and it will be sent to an analytical tool, which our case is Metabase. And the user can have a very uh, easy to inter interpret uh, uh, format of data representation that would kind of suit their need. So now that we have understood the benefits of both of them, let's understand what are we exactly trying to do as a part of an initiative. So the uh, requirement over here is that when we initially started with this initiative, the Bamni Mart was not dockerized and Metabase was dockerized, but not integrated with Bamni Docker. So as a part of this initiative, we are aware of the benefits of Bamni Mart and Metabase. So we are dockerizing Bamni Mart and Metabase together with Bamni Docker. So when you start the Bamni application, you get to leverage the benefits of both together. As of now, the Bamni DevLite environment is hosted on the AWS Kubernetes cluster, and we have deployed Metabase and Mart onto the scene using Helm charts. You would be understanding more about it as we learn more about this in the technical de details section. As a part of demo, we are going to demonstrate the advantages of Metabase as an analytical tool. So we have logged in into the Metabase and this is the UI of the Metabase. As already mentioned, we can configure multiple databases with the Metabase. So we have configured the two databases. One is MartDB and second one is OpenMRSDB. So MartDB is basically an analytics DB which fetches data from the OpenMRS. So whenever the cron runs, MartDB pulls the data from the OpenMRS. Here, OpenMRS is a transactional database. So here the OpenMRS has a complex data model. So MartDB fetches complex data and flattens it into the simpler one. Also, we can add multiple databases from the UI itself. So for that, we can go to settings and admin settings. So under admin settings, we can add multiple databases. We have created some sample reports also under Bamni Analytics. So under Bamni Analytics, these are the two sample reports we have created. One is clinic visits, second one is registered patients. So this is clinic visits report and this is registered patients report. So with the help of database, we can create the reports. So these are the database. There can be multiple use cases. Let's discuss one of them. So I would be taking help of a use case wherein we are trying to analyze the count of our patients who were diagnosed positive for certain medical conditions last month by the help of the diagnostic codes. And how Metabase can help us with the same, we are going to look into it. So we, we are going to generate reports for our use case with the help of MartDB. So we'll go in the MartDB. These are the tables of MART and data is available in visit diagnosis table. So we are going to inside that. So this is the visit diagnosis table and this is the data. So for our use case, we would be applying the required filters and summarization followed by visualizing them. So we need the count of patients for the last month. So we're going to apply a filter for the last month. So we'll uh, go to last month and we'll apply the filter. Also, we need the count of patient. So we are going to summarize it by the count and we are analyzing with the help of coded diagnosis. So we are going to uh, add coded diagnosis. So here you can see the visualization of our generated reports. So to compare the contribution from each disease better by visually comparing their values, we have chosen the bar graph. As you can see here, we can change the visualization format also. So we can go to other format. So click on visualization, select the visualization type. I'll go to the pie. So as to understand the contribution from each disease to the total contribution and the percentage contribution of each disease. 
सो हियर यू कैन सी कि विद द हेल्प ऑफ पाई चार्ट वी कैन सी द नंबर ऑफ डिसीजेस विद द सर्टेन परसेंटेज स्पेसिफाइड सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन यूटिलाइज अ मेटा बेस एंड मार्ट ऑल्सो वी कैन जनरेट द रिपोर्ट एंड विजुअलाइज दैम नाउ लेट्स गेट इन टू द टेक्निकल डिटेल्स एंड वील सी वॉट आर द थिंग्स वी हैव डन to integrate and deploy bamni mart and metabase to dev environment uh, coming to bamni mart uh, let me open the bamni mart uh, to set up bamni mart in local we can follow the steps given in the readme file uh, let me open this in intellij uh, inside bamni mart we have already written Uh, we have all the spring batch jobs already written uh, which pulls our data from the open mrs db and add it to the analytics db uh, so we have uh, dockerized the bamni mart let me open the docker file of uh, bamni mart we have dockerized the bamni mart and uh, we have written the uh, cron job to run the jar in a scheduled frequency uh, as you can see this cron time is configurable as of now we have configured it for 15 minutes in the dev environment uh, we have also written a hem uh, which is a package manager for kubernetes uh, that makes it easy to take applications and deploy uh, them to kubernetes cluster uh, this is a deployment.yml a uh, deployment.yml file and this is the image we have configured the image in the under the values.yml file and these are the required configurations and secrets uh, which are required for the bamni mart and we have written the workflow file uh, to automate the process of uh, building and publishing the docker image uh, to bamni docker hub these are the scripts uh, which are required uh, to publish the image and um, we are publishing the hem chat Uh, to github pages branch of a uh, hemchat repository inside a bamni um as soon as the hemchat gets published via github pages um an event will be triggered uh, this bamni hem publish event will be triggered inside the bamni india distro uh, under a bamni hemchat uh, bamni hem umbrella chat repository and uh, this will and it will trigger the deployment workflow and it will pick the latest hem chat which has been published and uh, we have added the um, bamni mart dependency under the chat.yml this will pick the latest hem chat and it will publish to the uh, uh, and it will uh, it will pick the latest hem chat which has been published and bamni mart will be deployed to the dev environment kubernetes cluster as we have discussed uh, we are using a metabase uh, which is a open source and uh, open source uh, reporting and analytics tool uh, let me open the docker file for metabase bamni metabase uh, we are using a metabase image on the top of it we have written some scripts uh, to have a pre configured admin user and the data added to metabase Uh, as you can see we have written some scripts uh, to add the database uh, to the metabase uh, for our use case in bamni mart uh, we are adding open mrs and uh, uh, mart db uh, to the metabase uh, metabase already uh, provides the api uh, to add the database and uh, these are the uh, required details uh, inside the request body um and metabase provides a feature of a uh, collection uh, we can add a reports to the collection now uh, we are creating a bamni analytics collection using the endpoint uh, given by the metabase um and we have written the scripts uh, to add uh, to add some uh, reports to the collection this is a script file which will be used to add the report to a collection for now we are adding uh, two reports clinic visits and a registered patients uh, to the collection of the metabase um in a similar way as bamni mart uh, we have written a kubernetes uh, deployment um uh, hem files 
and these are the required configurations uh, for the BAMNI metabase um, and uh, we have written the workflow file uh, to automate the process of uh, building and publishing the docker image and uh, publishing the hem chart to the uh, github pages branch of uh, bamni hem chart in a similar fashion how bamni mod got deployed to dev environment uh, via hem chart uh, github pages uh, metabase will also be deployed to the dev environment and we have configured the ingress for our metabase we can access our metabase uh, application uh, uh, using the slash uh, the path slash metabase now let's see how we can set up bamni metabase and bamni mart in local bamni metabase and bamni mart images have been already published to docker hub in bamni docker in docker compose.yml file we have added both metabase and mart services uh, to get more insights about all the environment variables and the steps required to set up them locally you can follow the documentation given under bamni wiki you can follow the steps written here and you can set up bamni mart and uh, metabase locally uh, that's all from our end thank you